This is David Brabham in a very serious incident. Very fast. Uh, let's have a look at this from another angle. Oh, what happened there? Rear tyre, rear tyre. He almost got airborne. Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video and uh, a Bathurst edition. And uh, today's car we have here is the 1999 Holden VT Commodore as driven by uh, Wayne Gardner and uh, David Brabham. Um, the 1999 FAI 1000 Bathurst race was the first year um, the Bathurst 1000 race counted towards the Australian Touring Car Championship. Uh, in regards to points and everything like that and it uh, pretty much cemented the um, V8 supercars being their sort of their own sort of race entity I suppose you could say and to what we sort of uh, regard now as the uh, you know it's a Holden versus Ford continually racing each other sort of thing the actual 1999 Bathurst 1000 race would be won by Greg Murphy and Stephen Richards in their own Holden VT Commodore but these guys uh, did finish in 14th position after a rear tyre actually exploded, sending them uh, off the track. So that was unfortunate, but uh, nonetheless, they, they, they were okay. But uh, let's have a look at this car right now. And we'll, we'll go straight to uh, the underneath, and we'll have a look at the detail. This is by Auto Art. It is 118th scale. Um... It, it does look a little bit plasticky compared to previous models that uh, I have reviewed, like classic collectible ones and Bianti ones. Um, the, the, it's got a very plastic feel to it. That's all plasticky feel. The actual details underneath here look a little bit sort of, um, I don't know, cheaper, I suppose you could sort of say, uh, if you want to go, go that way. But... Um, the tyres, they do st still have that rubber feel to it, and it does have that front manipulation of, of the suspension and the steering and everything like that. But uh, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the The actual livery itself, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. It is uh, it is a nice livery, and I, I think it is exquisite. But we'll go, sh we'll go to the back of the car, and we'll jump straight into the boot and have a look at the details inside there. And as per usual, there's a ton of detail in there. And it looks absolutely fantastic. And obviously, this is the uh, Coca-Cola McDonald's car. <laughs> um, as you can see quite uh, easily with the uh, nice red livery that it does have. The doors do open. We'll have a look in the driver's door. You can, you can, the door doesn't open hugely, but you can see the detail in there. You can see the roll cage now coming coming through the intrusion bars and everything like that. You can see the, the inside details, the seats and everything, all the gauges. They're, these are race cars now. They, that's, that's purely what they are, and with a slight resemblance to the actual road car. But um, we will uh, jump straight into the bonnet and have a look at the heartbeat. It is quite loose. Um, uh, the hinges in regards to this one are just your sort of a generic hinge. There's no bearing to the actual factual hinges that these cars do do to have um the detail inside is a, a little bit basic i suppose you can say compared to previous models um i mean it's still pretty cool uh but uh, just sort of sort of basic a little bit cheapy sort of looking compared to the finishes of previous models but uh, maybe it's just me i don't know but um that's just my opinion uh we'll go to the passenger side and have a look and I mean, you can see the nice uh, disc brakes there, the, the, the nice wheels. Uh, they do rotate really easy. The, the actual livery itself is well applied. It comes up really nice. It uh, really stands out. It's got, got a really good shelf presence. Um, it does look good when you have it sitting there on display. And I think overall, it is still a pretty, pretty cool unit. Uh, I, you know, I still like it, it, although it does just have those couple of little couple of little sort of cheapy sort of feeling flaws to it. I'll open the uh, side door here and you can have a look inside. You can see all that roll bar work, which is really well done. And um, I think it's fantastic. And, and all four doors do open and close. This, everything opens and close on, closes on this. So it, um, it is uh, one of those cars that you can display completely open. But uh, I think overall it, it is a pretty, pretty good unit. All right, I'll uh, wind this up. And so once again, this is by Auto Art. Is it is one eighteenth scale diecast? It is the nineteen ninety nine Holden VT Commodore, as driven by Wayne Gardner and David Brabham 
in the 1999 FAI 1000 Bathurst race. All right, guys, uh, you know the deal. I will take some uh, pics of this car and chuck them up at the conclusion of this video, which is happening now, and you can check it out without the sausage fingers being in the way. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching another one of our Bathurst videos. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.